But if you model timelines from clients I have usually, you find a, a completely different, uh, um, a completely different structure of timelines. So I have here a, a typical timeline from a client who is depressive, and it looks like that. So this means you have the birth around 10 meters on the right then this is where they have where he has two or three years old five years seven year eight eight years ten years 12 years old 15 years old 70 years old 20 years old and so on and uh, the distance usually he uses for the past is around the circle of is inside a circle of 10 meters when i asked him where is here and now he said it's one meter in front of him. That's the that's what he's what for him is the here and now. Usually people have it more here or, or in front of the body. When I asked him where is tomorrow, uh, it was ten meters away in front of him. In a week was twenty meters here, and in a month, a mo uh, in four weeks in the future. It was behind him 300 meters. Uh, half year in the future was three kilometers behind him. And in two years was 100 kilometers behind him. So if you see that one, and you see that it's completely different from a linear time structure, it's obvious that, that uh, work with goals and attractive outcomes uh, is pure nonsense because if you want to if you ask him where do you want to be in two years there is no there is no um, connection he feels it's hundreds of kilometers behind him um, and when he places the pictures there of the outcome uh, you have the difficulty that it, that people just forget it so the natural thing to plan uh, uh, the habit to plan doesn't work anymore. So before you are, so what is necessary then is that you first uh, restructure the timeline you found and then um, bring it in a kind of to take this one. This is the diagnostic part, and then you form it through specific techniques into a prototype of this kind or of this kind. And then you can talk about goals. It's not possible before that. And usually this is not a thing that in the NLP scene is known because the NLP scene is widely dominated by uh, NLP training. And uh, in NLP training you only have people who can pay the training. And to pay the training you have to work and, and if you are able to work and earn money, you usually have kind of a linear time structure. Otherwise, you won't function in society, especially in Western society. Um, and what's the interesting thing about psychiatry is that you meet people who don't have these basic functions working anymore. And this gives the opportunity to learn a lot about what is essential for people to function.